Okay, uh, good morning everybody and thank you very much for joining our service today. Uh, as you can tell, it's an online morning praise mm -hmm. service. And then after that, um, we'll take a short break to grab a coffee and then we'll come back and we'll have our annual APCM meeting. As a special treat, because everyone's been so well behaved, um, you can stay off mute, believe it or not, for the service, because it'd be fantastic to hear people responding you know, to, to the bits in, in the service sheet. And one thing I would say though, is if we do that, whoever talks last is the picture that you're gonna see. So if you wanna stick with me, you just need to pin the window that I'm in and then that will always be present, and then the other windows will change accordingly. Otherwise, as I say, you're going to see the last person that spoke, which isn't a problem, because as soon as I start speaking, you'll get me back again, for better or for worse. Uh, and then when we go into the APCM, we will go on to mute, because that, that could turn into one of those um, local authority meetings if we're not careful. But I'll, yeah. I'll mention that again when we get so let's just uh, let's just take a moment because it's been nice to re-engage socially and have a little bit of chat and banter then so it's fantastic but let's just take a moment to move our minds towards our praise service just to clear our minds from from the week that's passed to start to think to the future to think about how god has been working in our church in our community in our families in our private lives in our work lives over the past 12, 18 months as we've been going through the, the, the pandemic. Let's thank God for being with us through those difficult times. Let's thank him for the good things that have happened. Let's thank him for all the new things that have happened, the new friendships we've made, the new ways of engaging with people that we've discovered, the new friendliness, support, love that's been shown by so many people in our church family to each other. So let's just take a moment in silence to bring those thoughts to, to our minds. And Lord, we thank you for bringing us together today, albeit virtually. But it is great to see so many people, Lord, and we do look forward to the days when we can get 30 people, 60 people, 100 people back into our church building to worship and glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So hopefully you all have access to a copy of the morning praise service sheet. Yep. Yes, David. So please join with me as we start uh, where it says all. Lord God, Lord God, we have sinned we have against, against you. We have done we evil have in your sight. sight. We, we are sorry and repent. Have mercy, have mercy on us according, according to your love. Your love. Your love. Wash, Wash away our undoing and cleanse us from our sins. sins. Renew our right spirit within us and, and restore, restore to us the joy of your salvation. Through, through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. 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 May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Let everything be said and done in the name of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks, thanks to God, God through Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Sing psalms, hymns, and sacred songs. Let, Let us, us sing, sing to God. God. Thank thank God. God. Open our lips, Lord. And we shall praise your name. Uh, David's now going to uh, do our reading for us. Over to you, David. So the reading today is from Isaiah chapter 48, verses 1 to 7, and then verses 18 and 19. And it's subtitled, Stubborn Israel. Listen to this, O house of Jacob. You who are called by the name of Israel and come from the line of Judah, 
you who take oaths in the name of the Lord and invoke the God of Israel, but not in truth and righteousness. You call yourselves citizens of the holy city and rely on the God of Israel. The God Almighty is his name. I foretold the former things long ago. My mouth announced them and I made them known. Then suddenly I acted and they came to pass. For I know how stubborn you were, the sinners, sorry, the sinews of your neck were iron and your forehead was bronze. Therefore, I told you these things long ago. Before they happened, I announced them to you so that you could not say my idols did them. My wooden image and metal God ordained them. You have heard these things. Look at them all. Will you not admit them? From now on, I will tell you of new things, of hidden things unknown to you. They are created now and not long ago. You have not heard of them before today, so you cannot say. And then from verse 18. If only you had paid attention to my commands, your peace would be like a river, your righteousness like a wave of the sea. Your descendants would have been like the sand, your children like its numberless grains. Their name would never be cut off nor destroyed from before me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Thanks, Dave. So that, that was titled Stubborn Israel, and I just want to uh, read a short piece, which is entitled Israel's Only Saviour, which follows on from that. Um, and I'm not going to do a talk at the end of this, but I think there's a good theme in these two readings, which is people maybe not recognising the need for God and God in their lives. And part of our mission as, as a church is to reach out to those people in our community. And then the second reading really brings some hope for the future, which again is where we are in our journey through vacancy at the moment. So Israel's only saviour. <laughs> but now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned and flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your saviour. I give Egypt for your ransom, <coughs> Deba in your stead. <coughs> Since you are precious and honoured in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, <coughs> in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, who I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. <laughs> so I'm not sure who's got a bad cough, but maybe that person could just go on mute, if that's all right. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to find my place again. Okay, sorry, here we go. Um, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks to God. Okay, great. Thank you for the reading, David. And as I say, I think two uh, readings there that put in perspective our journey as, as we uh, move forward through Interregnum. And we'll talk more about that in the APCM. So if we go back to our service sheets now, I'd like to invite you to join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, 
was crucified, died, he descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Amen. Amen. Thanks. For our prayers today, um, I just wanted us to, to join together in two prayers, the prayer for vacancy and the All Saints Church prayer. Hopefully you've, you've got the card that has both of those on there, although I'm sure you all know the All Saints Church prayer off by heart by now. Even I know it. Apart from <laughs> so please join me in the prayer for vacancy. God, our Father. Our Father. You have welcomed each one of us, one of us in Jesus, Jesus Christ and called us, called to, us to be Jesus his body in this place. Send us your Holy Spirit at this time and uncertainty and change to fill us with vision, energy and faith. And we, we may be true to our calling, to bring, to bring new life to our community. community. Give your heavenly wisdom to those who are to choose our new incumbent for this parish. She or he may be wise and gentle shepherd of your people, ready to serve us with joy to build us up in faith and to build us up in faith and to lead us by example in loving obedience to your son Jesus Amen. Amen Thank you and now our All Saints Church prayer God of mission God of mission who alone brings growth to your church, send your Holy Spirit, give vision to our planning, wisdom to our actions, joy to our worship, and power to our witness. Help our church, all saints, to grow in number. In spiritual commitment to you and in the of Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. So we're going back to our service sheets, and I invite you to join me in our Lord's Prayer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Right. Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven. Hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. come. Your, your will be done. done on earth, earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive, forgive us for our sins. sins. As we forgive those who sin against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all For the kingdom, the power, and the glory be yours. Amen. Amen. And finally, let's finish by saying the grace together. 
the grace, the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ and the, the love, love of God, God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, Spirit be with us, be with us all, 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 ever all, all. Amen. Amen. Great, thank you. So that um, brings us to the end of, of our morning praise service. That's uh, 18 minutes. That's possibly the quickest service we've ever had. Don't tell the diocese. Brilliant. So, um, if you want to uh, take a 10-minute uh, break, grab a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, and then come back, and we will go into our APCM. Um, if you want to go on to mute now, that's probably a, a good move, so you won't forget when you come back. And if we can be back, um, by my watch, it says 18 minutes past 10. So if we can be back ready to start again at 10.30, please, that's 12 minutes, that would be fantastic. Right. Okay, thank you. <laughs>